MIDI Flow Scales is a MIDI effects app that allows you to map notes to a scale or to remove notes that are outside of a given scale. And you can use that to remove wrong notes or to create variations of a track. As a demo, I'll add MIDI Flow Keyboard as a MIDI source in AudioBus. And as destination, I'll use AnyMove. When I go to MIDI Flow Keyboard and play some notes, you can hear that all notes are played as you would expect. Now I go back to AudioBus and add MIDI Flow Scales as an effect in that pipeline. In the app, you can see this little keyboard. It is not for playing, but for selecting which tones should be active. You can also select from a list of scales. As an example, I will activate only the white keys and deactivate the black ones. Now when I switch back to MIDI Flow Keyboard, you can hear that the black keys don't play the tones they did before. Instead, MIDI Flow Scales picks the closest white key. You can also change the remapping method below here, so that it filters out the deactivated notes completely. With that activated, the black keys don't trigger a sound anymore. So how can you use this for something? For example, if you have a sequencer with a melody, you can create a second voice with only parts of that melody, like the bass tone. You can then send this new bass track to another synth. To show that, I will use Fugue Machine and insert Playhead 1 into the pipeline with AnyMove. Now I use a second pipeline, also with Playhead 1, but with Model 15 as a sound. And then I add MIDI Flow Scales as an effect. And there I activate only one note. You can hear that Model 15 only plays the bass tone along with the melody. With MIDI Flow Transposer, I can shift the bass notes down a little bit. And then I can play around with the active tones in the Scales app. So this is one possible application. You can also use the app in combination with MIDI Flow Randomizer, for example. I'll add that one to the pipeline and set notes to plus minus eight. Now you hear a lot of randomness in the melody, quite awful. But when I add MIDI Flow Scales behind the randomizer and only activate some of the notes, it sounds a lot better. So much for that. Now, if you are as excited as I am about the new AudioS 3 and MIDI, don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and follow MIDIFlow on twitter.com slash MIDIFlow or facebook.com slash MIDIFlow app. There's even more stuff coming. See you next time.